Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today, when I went to the office, um, there was a colleague who asked me, Ali, do you know there's a big upcoming news? So I asked him, is it about Bill C-19? He said, uh, no, I don't think so. I asked him, is it about TR to PR? He goes, uh, something similar is coming up. There's a new pathway that's going to be announced. So I was like, wow. And then later on, uh, when it was about 11.30 probably, uh, then I went to the other parts of the office and I saw two, three guys who were listening to um, the press conference by Sean Fraser and um, uh, they had their airports in in their ears and they were waiting for a great news about TR to PR uh, pathways because obviously these people um, and the colleagues uh, that I'm talking about, they are on work permits after their studies and they are waiting for TR to PR pathways. But um, after the press conference was over, they were uh, unsure of what the minister said. They didn't know what happened. Uh, I, on the other hand, I didn't hear the press conference because obviously um, I was busy working and um, I sit with the director and I can't really um, use internet. I can't really surf internet when I'm sitting with him, right, all the time. So later on, I got the news. Um, and they told me that, okay, so this was a new pathway, but it is for the refugees only. So I started digging around and here's what I found out. If you are a person who has a refugee status in any country, for example, I know a couple of people who are refugees in Japan. Okay. So for example, any country in Europe, if you have a, um, a refugee status, then there are seven NGOs um, um, described by IRCC that these are the eligible um, NGOs. They will patch you through to the employer, okay? But your occupation needs to be in demand, for example, the healthcare knock codes or the construction-based knock codes, etc. Et so if you're a refugee and you have this occupation and you find an employer through those NGOs who's willing to give you a job, then uh, you'll file your PR. So this is one of its kind uh, that a refugee can file for a PR. Previously, mm, you cannot really do that, uh, but this is the, I mean, the exact um, uh, information that I got from the IRCC website and uh, not many people are understanding this concept really, but you have to have a refugee, uh, refugee status in any country in the world. That's the basic criteria. Okay, and uh, apart from that, apart from that, um, you know, this federal pathway is part of the economic mobility pathway and economic mobility pathway has been around and this is an addition. This is a new pathway which is included as a part of uh, in the economic mobility pathway. Okay, so get that out of head and in in Urdu, we say Khoda Pahar Nikla Chuha. So this press conference was, um, I mean, um, I'm sorry to say, but this press conference was like that. Like you dig up a mountain and what you find is a mouse under that mountain. That that would be the English translation. So, <laughs> but obviously it will give some goosebumps to the people who are a refugee in other countries, in other parts of the world. And um, let me share a story of uh, refugees. And this is an illegal thing. And, I mean, I'm just sharing it. Uh, so I've heard that back home, they're asking for 5 million rupees. Then they send you to Mexico and they arrange for your transportation. They arrange for your accommodation. And then they arrange for a ladder and uh, you get on that ladder and you cross that wall that you remember that wall that donald trump was talking about so you climb that wall and you cross that wall and you find yourself in california usa and then from there you you travel you travel and you enter um you enter quebec which is which is in which is in canada and you apply for a refugee status you seek asylum and you're like if i go back to my country then they're gonna kill me you don't have um, um you don't have any other story but this story alone uh, can get you refugee status in canada then 
you get your sin number after two months and uh, this goes on this goes on and then after four five six years you get yourself a pr uh, and if you're lucky you get your pr in two years or in one and a half years as well so <laughs> Uh, this is the illegal human trafficking that is happening. I would recommend against it. You should never look for such options. If you have 5 million rupees and um, you are an uneducated person who cannot make it to Canada through the legal means, then uh, you shouldn't even think about Canadian immigration, in my honest opinion. Okay, so that is straying me from the topic. So this um, new federal pathway for the refugee claimants, um, this is going to be good news for some, obviously, because uh, uh, Canadian government, they need labors and they found that this is an untapped area. And these refugee, uh, refugees in different countries, they can fill the labor market gaps. And this is what Canadian government feels like doing. And obviously it um, makes their relationship with other countries better. So this is uh, more of a political maneuver than uh, an immigration settlement. <laughs> but I mean, uh, who are we to say anything against it? So obviously it's Canadian government's decision and they are the ones who are going to decide what's going to happen with Canadian immigration. But uh, to all the other people who are not refugees, don't worry about it. Um, this news will not affect you. Your quota will not increase or decrease. It will remain the same. So don't worry about it. Yeah. And um, today um, at a bus stop, I met a girl and uh, she received her ITA in the last express entry draw at 486 CRS. And she was like over the moon. She had done her medicals. And I mean, people like this, uh, they get selected and she was like, even with 486 scores, she said that her ITA was out of the blue and she was not expecting it. And suddenly she received this ITA. And yes, every time, I mean, if your score is 490, if your score is 470, if your score is 458 like me, IRCC has its way of making you feel surprised. And then they give you the invitation. So don't lose hope. And uh, with these words, this is Alif Sakhar and I'm hoping great things are coming your way. Mm -hmm.